Hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Friday Five. Five. All right, so it's Labor Day weekend. Yes, it's going to be an extended weekend, so everybody go out and enjoy yourselves. Yeah, it should be great. <laughs> All right, so the, the first one of our Friday Five. Number one. Substituting ingredients, especially late at night when you're having to get something done right away. Yes. Or at any time, you get started with the recipe, and next thing you know, you're missing an ingredient. This is a great chart to have handy in your pantry. That way, you know exactly what you you know you can't you, you don't have eggs. What do you do? You don't have chocolate. What do you do? There's substitutes. There's things that you can replace it with, and it will have the same effect. And I would never have known these. It's great. Exactly. Now the baking powder. I will say, run out to H E B, get the ba baking powder. Uh, she means send Dawn out to H E B and get the baking powder. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah, I know how that goes. <laughs> All right, number two. Number two. What do you got? How to raise your kids to be resilient. Now I really, out of all the the five tips this week. This, by far, is the most important to me. It is very, very, very important. Why? Because it actually teaches our kids to learn from their mistakes. You know, as soon as you step back and you let them handle it on their own, they're going to learn a great lesson. And they're going to learn from their mistakes if it doesn't work out. They also need to learn that, you know, they can't be too hard on themselves. They have to let themselves... Uh, learn from the experience so this is a good one I totally agree especially now with all and, and I have no problem with uh, all these leagues that are participation trophy type thing and that's fine I see a place for that but I also see a place for failure because if they don't learn to fail on what we consider the small things they're going to consider really big right now but if they don't learn to fail on those things they're going to have a really problem when they go to college or they have their first job yes. or things like that they're not going to know how to deal with it's with failing or the stress of it so make sure you you read it it's a great article number three in a motorcycle accident never remove the helmet now we had already talked about this in the past but it is so important a lot of people don't know this even if the, the motorcycle rider says hey I feel fine and I, let me just help me take this off I would suggest not doing that and saying look the fire department's on the way you know the EMS is going to be here just wait a few more minutes and let's make sure that everything is okay before yes. you remove anything. Yes. It, you know, leave it to the experts. They know exactly what they're doing. They've been trained to handle a situation like this. And if there's any trauma, you see any bleeding, especially in those on those situations, do not remove it. Let it, you know, let, let the EMS people take care of that. That's right. Okay. Number four. Number four. Seven magic phrases that every host should know to tell their guests yes now these we already do you're invited to our casa mi casa is su casa you are welcome to going to our refrigerator and to our pantry every room in the house and it's, they do it, you know i want them to feel like at home why because i'm inviting them into my space and it's so nice when they offer to bring something but we always just tell them hey just bring yourself yeah you know, everything simple exactly just, just come. that's all we want Yes. Now, if they offer to help, trust me, we're going to take that because they either will help us to clean up, do the dishes, some food, whatever, you, know, no. you know, finish, you know, getting everything ready. I, I don't mind the help. I love it. I The more, the merrier. And that's where actually people bond. I so, totally agree with that. Yes. And let them help themselves to whatever it is that you have or you're hosting. Let them enjoy the party. That's what it is. Okay. All right. Number five. Number five. You need to have an emergency fund because bad things do happen. They do, especially like, for example, when we have uh, clients who are working and they're involved in a car accident and then they have to stop working uh, or they're not able to work because they're in so much pain. This can really be handy in that situation. So you want to make sure that. From every paycheck, you start putting away a little bit of money. Every and automate paycheck. it so that you don't even notice it's gone. Right. Just have it transfer from your checkings to your savings. Next thing you know, you will have, you know, a healthy, you know, cushion, cushion just in case you, you have one of these situations. I think that's everything. We did good today. We I did think we had great. a lot of great information. Yes. I really like the Resilient Kids, how to, how to raise them. I and there's love three books one. there. That I highly recommend you go check out. Yes. All right. Well, we'll see you next week. I hope everybody has a safe, fun, and amazing Labor Day weekend.
Bye, everybody. Bye.